Barking, episode 5, Barking at Dogs Behind Fences. Kiko, my little chihuahua, used to be highly reactive to this Rottweiler on walks. Using counter-conditioning, I changed her emotional response from fear to calmness when walking past. She also now trusts that I will keep her safe, and she doesn't have to take matters into her own hands. This is a continuation of the video Barking Episode 3, Barking on a Walk. Please watch that video first to work on the foundation exercises. Also watch my videos on loose leash walking as a tight leash can cause a dog to be more aroused and reactive on walks. If it is possible, you can set it up so that the dog is not at the fence or the window when you first start practicing as the environment can be the trigger for reactivity. The neighbor's dog is not home right now, so we can practice at a closer distance than Doodlebug would be able to do if the neighbor's dog was at the window barking. As you can see, I'm doing conditioning. I am clicking the moment that Doodlebug looks at the window. I'm not clicking when Doodlebug is looking at me saying, give me the treat. If you click or feed your dog for looking at you, you're only conditioning them to like you or to like looking at your food. Step 1. Click and feed your dog as he alerts towards the gate he usually barks at before he barks, and then walk the other way. Repeat this step until he is no longer alerting. You can also feed your dog for looking instead of clicking. However, if you do this and your dog turns around to look at the food, don't give it to him. You want the other dog to be the predictor of the reinforcement, not your hand movement. Step 2. Walk closer to the gate or window that the reactive dog usually appears at and either feed the dog as they are looking or click the dog and feed. Then walk away. Step 3. Pass the house in an arc. Walk your dog across the street so that he is as far away from the barking dog as possible as you both cross. As the dog begins to look confident and relaxed, you can walk the dog into a closer arc. Keep in mind not to walk too close to the other dog as you don't want to cause it any undue stress. If your dog becomes reactive, simply say, let's go, and go the other way, with no treat. Practice the cue, let's go, before using it with distractions. If your dog keeps reacting, make it easier for your dog. Walk up to where he is comfortable, click, and then turn back the way you came. Step 4. When you have changed your dog's emotional response to dogs barking at fences, continue to give your dog information and feedback. Walk past the barking dog and tell your dog what a good dog he is for being so brave and relaxed. Remember, you can use your voice and calm touch to tell your dog they are wonderful. You can also use calming signals as you pass to tell your dog you are not worried about the other dog. Here I am practicing with Kiko our let's go cue, so when she is growling or barking, I can call her away. Since she wasn't barking when I'm calling her away, I can click her for coming with me. You might have to cross or walk in the road to give your dog enough distance at first when passing the other dog. So make sure you're looking for traffic or find a safe situation where you can walk past a reactive dog, giving your dog enough distance. You can also choose to click or feed your dog when they hear the other dog bark. So the sound of barking is the predictor of reinforcement. Kiko is demoing what the end result of counter conditioning looks like. She is ignoring the other dog and going about her business calmly. She's not focusing on the other dog in order to get a treat. Here are some tips. 1. Use management and prevention. Start practicing this exercise with the dogs that your dog has the lowest reaction to and then work up to the ones that he has the highest reaction to. If that means driving past the house up the street and getting out to walk your dog, it's worth it. 2. If your dog recently reacted to another dog on a walk, when passing a house with a dog at the gate, go back a step and increase the distance because your dog will be more likely to react because of stress hormones. 3. If you're not seeing improvement, try using better treats and try working from further distances first. You can also practice just hanging out in front of your house or practicing settles with your dog on leash to help your dog be calmer when outside. 
Four, don't leave your reactive dog behind a fence or window when you're not home, as they will learn to become reactive to other dogs. Don't forget to subscribe to support channel Kikopup.